I have lived my whole life in Trinidad, and I have always noticed alarming amounts of pollution. In this documentary, I will be interviewing those who are helping reduce solid waste pollution in hopes of finding a solution to this massive problem. So my name is Daniel Barkan and I am a co-founder and director of I Am Movement. We are a Trinidad-based NGO and our main focus is to instill positive social and environmental change uh, throughout Trinidad and Tobago, the region and hopefully the globe. My name is Shala Namot, I'm the managing director of Recyclage E-Waste Management Limited, um, a company that offers the proper disposal of electronic waste within Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, my name is David Hardy, I'm the Managing Director of Carrot Glass. Sure, my name is Sean Austin, I work for Carrot Glass Works, I'm the Account Executive. I manage the local portfolio as well as some of the export portfolio for for the camera. Shaw, my name is Mirabai yeah. Francois. I am a grade 12, currently at ISPS. When it comes to pollution, Trinidad is outdated in its uh, In Trinidad and Tobago, we have definitely had some kind of archaic, you know, sort of rulings mm -hmm. uh, with policies, I should really say, um, okay. just kind of outdated more so than anything else. Uh, at the end of the day, a lot of our dump sites, our landfills, mm. were actually designed to be temporary landfills and these have now become permanent um, mm. because of just convenience as well as, you know, our things already been established in there. So these definitely affect, you know, a lot of our, you know, surrounding mm. communities as well as our collection programs and our mentality towards managing waste has really not been very proactive at all. This leads me to wonder, how are old solutions going to help new problems like e-waste? If we don't solve problems like e-waste, the effects can be devastating. So what are some issues that arise if people do not recycle their electronics? Alright, um, the lack of recycling or proper disposal of your electronic waste can lead to um, long-term and short-term effects. Uh, short -term, you have damage to the environment, uh, leak, leakage from things like lead, um, um, the acid from batteries, um, and long term you have effects, things like cancer of your body, um, of course on human, it affects us as well. According to the Ministry of Planning, there was over 4,289.2 pounds of litter found in the annual coastal cleanup. Being aware of the current issues, this leads me to wonder, what is the government doing to help? So I asked the Minister of Planning, the Honourable Camille Robinson Regis, on what are some examples of the thing that, things that the government are doing to help reduce the extent of salt waste pollution. According to her, the Ministry of Planning and Development does not have the primary mandate for salt waste management in Trinidad and Tobago. The Ministry of Public Utilities, under whose purview the Trinidad and Tobago Solid Waste Company Limited has a responsibility for management of the landfills located in Trinidad. The Ministry of Local and Rural Development has a responsibility for, collect, for waste collection, with the Tobago House of Assembly having the responsibility for waste management on the island of Tobago. The Ministry of Planning and Development has the oversight responsibility for the establishment of national development policy for the country that provides necessary guidance and in, under which implementing ministries will operate. In this regard, the government has developed a new national development pro um, policy for the country, Vision 2030, that places the environment at the center of economic development with proper management for waste futuring prom prominently in this pol policy. With Vision 2013, the 2018 National Environment Policy providing policy context, the Ministry of Public Utilities giving the priority to establish deposit refund system for beverage containers, which is emitted at placing economic value on the container waste to encourage environmentally responsible, environmentally responsible behavior among our citizens. In 2019, the budget statement for the Minister of Finance would we be announced to increase fines on littering. The Ministry of Energy and Industry Industries are also investigating the potential for establishment of waste to energy plants like at the Beetham landfill and innovative modern methodology for waste disposal. Proud 
So you definitely think that the government sees that recycling and the environment in general is not as important as other things that turn out of Well, children have a lot of big issues going on. Um, so uh, I, would, I would hesitate to say that the government does not think it's important. I, I would, but I would say that the government, you know, they have to decide, they have to prioritize what they need to get done in order to run the country. Um, but we're getting closer. I think as, as each administration has come and gone, we've gotten closer each time to getting the bill. And I think the, the growing you hear the government talking about the environment more now than they did 10 years ago. Um, our regional neighbors have been banning styrofoam all over. You've heard the government say that they are planning to put that in. That in itself is a signal that there is an environmental consciousness within the present administration. The state does a lot to help protect the environment. You have to record this part. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new answer. I think I could do more. Yes. I think more could be done. I think the resources that are allocated right now could be used more effectively. We have things like the eye care program, which is good. It's a step in the right direction. But now back to one of the first questions, being involved in the, in the industry, I've seen how money has been spent and how it could have been spent. And in my opinion, having two launches or two relaunches of this eye care program without any significant dent or in terms of the cultural or the viewpoint of the public or the average person in the street and in terms of recycling, to me that's a waste of money. I think it needs to be more result oriented. So instead of just relaunching, relaunching, relaunching for the public and for the media, it needs to be result oriented and we have to see a difference and quantify the amount of more material being recycled. So I think, yeah, more could be done. Until the government is able to put in place policies that are desperately needed to help the environment, what can the general public do to help, and more specifically teenagers? Some ways, that, what are some simple ways that you just sort of started becoming more environmentally active? Um, well, the first thing for sure is like your kitchen, because you produce like, people put like carrot heads or like mango mm -hmm. skin in their rubbish bins and it doesn't, when it goes to the landfill it doesn't properly decompose which is really bad for the environment. Like the less you can put in the landfill, the better. So I think like starting a compost for me was like mm -hmm. the easiest and probably one of the most like, um, like one of the most influential things I could have done. Like it made mm -hmm. the most like difference. Also like toiletries was a really easy thing as well. Like I started using solid shampoo bars so I don't use as much plastic or just like buying clothes that were like thrift shopping is mm -hmm. actually really good because clothes is like one of the number one contributors to landfills. So I guess like, having like doing research and seeing easy, easy ways to cut corners like helped and was like what I started doing at least. So so what are some things that I think teenagers would want, something like a teenager would want to know is how can they themselves not only stop the culture of not caring but also assist in cleaning up or preventing pollution, what are like some of the things that you would suggest for that? First and foremost I would just encourage anyone that even one person can make a difference. Uh, a, big, a big thing with this whole environmental problem, even climate change, is that generally people feel kind of isolated. What is little old me going to do if I'm, making a, if I'm actually making a conscious effort and nobody else is? But at the end of the day, it really is all interconnected. And people, you know, people that lead by example end up you know, kind of encouraging others to do the same. So especially now, I think the youth are kind of more aware you know that boundaries are, are being reached and I would encourage youth to you know do things individually to get involved make you know make groups you know you can make your own little um, group for a certain idea a certain petition whatever it is you know um, get behind the petitions for sure because you know starting a petition is as simple as literally creating something online and, and with you know with the viral capabilities these days of the of the web get people to, to, to get behind and put their email signatures on. That makes a big difference in terms of lobbying to, to get political attention on, mm -hmm. on, on, on decision makers to do things. But 
nothing beats on the ground. So I would really encourage to you know network, come up with cool creative ideas, share it on social media, mm -hmm. come up with interesting hashtags, find ways that it really integrates with your community, uh, and above all else, just kind of you know be true to the cause. Uh, if you start doing this now and you and you kind of continue doing this, you'll realize that there's there, there, there's a big network of, of people out there that care about this sort of stuff. So there's always room for, for growth, even career-wise, in a lot of these things, mm -hmm. you know, locally, regionally, and on, on a big international scale. So I would definitely encourage, you know, a lot of action and a lot of sharing. Mm -hmm. While reflecting on interviewing all these people and looking at all the pollution that we've created in Trinidad, I think one thing we all need to know so it's time to take action. At the end of the day, it is, it's, it's really on us, you know, from from my age go down and even up. Like, it's, it's on us to make a change because mm -hmm. this is our planet now. As a community, as a country, as a group of citizens, we need to get together and finally put an end to pollution and harming the environment. Thank you.